Rocky sign a new contract to remain with the club first and foremost. You must be pleased to still be a Bolton Wanderers player. Yeah, delighted. I'm absolutely buzzing. Just uh, hopefully now we can push on to next season, put all our focus into League One, and hopefully we can get another promotion. Just reflecting on this season, what? How would you describe it from your perspective? Obviously, you, you got a bit of game time. You obviously got your injury as well. Just overall to summarise it, how has it been? Uh, it's very up and down season for me personally. Because at the start of the season, I was nowhere near the team. Then got in the team and I was doing really well and then I picked up an injury and came back from an injury. Uh, sorry, came back from an injury, so played again, got another injury. So it's very up and down for me, but obviously it's just the best feeling in the world to put on this shirt. I suppose credit to you though, because you know, you, you've got a chunk of game time in that season. Not You've not got game time throughout the whole season, mm -hmm. but you've done enough during that time to show the gaffer and the staff that you know, you're a capable player and, and, and you're part of his plans. Yeah. I'm, very thankful for the gaffer for putting his trust in me still. Uh, like you say, I didn't get the amount of game time that I'd have probably liked to just because of my injuries. But overall, I thought when I did play and when I train, I always give it my all. So I'm pleased that that was noticed. The couple of weeks since the end of the season, how's it been for you? I mean, obviously it looks like the lads have had a good time and rightly so celebrating a promotion that looked really unlikely a few months ago. How's it, how's it been? Well, I think that's probably why everything's been so hectic because at uh, February no, if you'd have told us we were getting promoted, we'd have probably all looked to you like you are a ghost. But yeah, we're all absolutely buzzing and we had probably the best two weeks we've ever had. You've obviously been at the club a long time and you've seen what the club's gone through in the last couple of years. It must be brilliant to sort of be a part of the team that's starting to put the wheels in motion and, and move the club back in the right direction. Yeah, the club feels like it's got a, a completely different feel to it. It feels a lot more positive and like we are on the up, whereas in past times you'd have probably said that it looked like we were on our way down and it was very negative and very dull. But yeah, the club looks like it's on its way up, so I'm positive about it. Yeah. It must be a pleasure coming into training when the environment is completely what it should be in comparison to perhaps in the last couple of years where it's exactly what it shouldn't be. Well, yeah, exactly. Like last year, probably would have hated coming into football, but now I'm absolutely loving it. Love all the boys, the gaffer, everyone. So yeah, I just can't wait to get going again. And to be part of a a, a group of players that's ambitious, a manager that's ambitious, a, a board that's ambitious that wants to kick on again and have another good season in League One. Definitely, yeah. I think that's so important. I don't think you can be looking at staying up or mid table. I think it's important to think, yeah, let's go again. Let's get another promotion behind our behind our belt. And hopefully, hopefully, fingers crossed, you'll be playing in front of uh, thousands of supporters here at the University of Bolton Stadium next year. You must be buzzing for that after a year of playing in front of stewards and staff. Yeah, I think that's all that was missing from last year. The fans, and we've missed them so much. So as soon as they're back in, can't wait for that first game of the season when they're all here. And what's the objective for Harry Brockbank now for the next 12 months? What, what, what are you looking to try and do? Is it to try and break into the team and keep your place? That's it, yeah, just to play football games. It's all ever want to do. I just love playing football so break into the team, play as many games as I can and hopefully play a big part in another promotion push. I suppose from your perspective you're not the young kid in the squad anymore are you? You've sort of moved on and, and you're a couple of years older and wiser and you're at an age where you, you probably do really need to be kicking a ball around on a regular basis. Exactly yeah. I'm 23 this time now so I think my time for being the young lad's gone. So hopefully I can get a few games, like you said, and help the other young lads out because I know what it's like being the young lad.